I'm Bailey Myers. If it's wild, wacky, or weird, from museums to exotic animals, you'll find it on Wild Walks. Hello, my name is Bailey Myers, and today we're going to be going to Northwest Florida, South Florida, and even travel back in time. Now, the only place you can do all of these things is the Florida Museum of Natural History. So let's go check it out. Florida exhibit focuses on our waterways and the people who inhabited this area long ago. The hand-painted walls and the lively displays of birds and Native Americans really takes you back in time. Not many people are aware that this museum is older than the football team, but when I met with the exhibit director Darcy McMahon, she was able to tell us some more interesting facts. Early in Florida football history, we had live mascots at UF, and that was a practice that stopped in the 1970s, but before it stopped, one of the big old Alberts passed away and the museum ended up with Albert's skeletons. The collection is more than Albert's skull. In fact, there are more than 30 million objects. From Native American replicas to giant jaws, they have it all. But not everything here is ancient history. This is the Butterfly Rainforest. different species in this facility, but there are hundreds of butterflies all zooming around you just trying to absorb the sun. It's incredible. It's amazing that I can get so close to this butterfly. It's as if it's so comfortable with people being here. I was lucky enough to go behind the scenes and meet with Assistant Professor Jared Daniels about some of the research they are working on at the museum. Now I heard a rumor that you guys feed these butterflies Gatorade, is that true? That is true, so we, we do everything in the lab and in the wild, most butterflies feed at flowers and so we have to make artificial flowers and we use a little oh, Q-tip wow. and then they're soaked in Gatorade and so the butterfly can feed in this little cup on her, on her own and then the longer she lives the more eggs she'll produce. Daniels also took me inside the McGuire Center, where researchers have collected and stored millions of butterflies and moths. At the end of the day, you can leave the Florida Museum of Natural History with a bit more knowledge about Florida's past and present. And the best part is most of the exhibits are free. So check it out right here on the edge of the University of Florida's campus.